Representative Johansson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in opposition. Please proceed. I want to begin, uh, I too want to begin by thanking proponents and opponents of this measure for being an integral part of the government and for making this one of the most vibrant expressions of democracy that I've seen in my time at the Capitol. Although it has not been easy for anyone, I think we would have a much better Hawaii if everyone continued this level of engagement. The active practice of democracy that includes maximum public engagement is often harder than we think because we so rarely see it play out on this scale at the Capitol. However, it has been worth it, and I think Hawaii will be all the better for having its citizens involved in the process. The concept and mechanics of democracy have weighed very heavily on me as we've debated this issue. As with many of my colleagues, I was still a child when Hawaii began the debate about same-sex marriage. The 1998 constitutional amendment was, the was on the first ever ballot that I was eligible to be able to cast as an 18-year-old in college. I truly wish that we had more time to explore this issue, to answer some of those lingering questions, and more time to deliberate. What has been most difficult for many of us to reconcile is the fundamental question of how to grant benefits to our fellow citizens who are merely looking for equal treatment. I do not necessarily wish to see people in a loving, committed relationship denied tax and other benefits. Given the Supreme Court's rulings, which served as a catalyst for extension of federal benefits to individuals in same-sex marriages, I continue to believe that relief can be sought at the federal level to include extension of those federal benefits to those individuals in civil unions and or other state-recognized equivalents. We have not sufficiently explored many of those avenues because we were called into a special session against our legislative will. This bill, in ostensibly seeking to enable the granting of those federal benefits, engenders a whole host of significant and real concerns and issues that truly have yet to be answered and yet to be reconciled. If this bill passes, I still don't know what will happen in the future when a newly created state-sanctioned right of same-sex marriage potentially conflicts with First Amendment constitutional rights of the freedom to practice one's religion. I don't know that any of us can answer that with any degree of certainty. There are two competing paradigms here for people who are yes and people who are no. There are two competing values for people who are yes and people who are no. But I ask, again, what happens when they conflict? How will the legislature and the courts reconcile that conflict? Again, I do not think that anyone here can answer that with certainty. That is why, because I believe we have not sufficiently answered those questions and really addressed what I think is fundamentally at the heart of our debate, that I continue to be in opposition. I appreciate very much the broadened religious exemptions in the most current form of the bill. I thank my colleagues for expanding those protections. Unfortunately, I do not think the current version of the bill addresses all of the myriad issues and concerns brought up by so many in the public that so many of them continue to have. We have not sufficiently explored and addressed many of those concerns. During this debate over same-sex marriage, the Hawaii State Constitution has come up time and time again. I spent many of the last few days reading through it, recognizing that it is the foundation upon which our democracy here in the island rests. Article 1, Section 1 of the Hawaii State Constitution states, all political power of this state is inherent in the people and the responsibility for the exercise thereof rests with the people. All government is founded on this authority. We were all duly elected and thus imbued with the authority to cast votes on behalf of our people. I recognize this fact. I also recognize that it is important to respect the will of the people and to honor it in a way that is more than just word. It is important to honor it in action as well. Ordinarily, this level of opposition to a measure would be sufficient to defeat it or certainly to postpone it. Yet we are continuing to move forward with this measure. In so doing, I think the legislature is not honoring in action our commitment to government by the people and for the people. I think this measure is moving forward at a pace that is in opposition to the will of the people. Because of all of the many lingering questions and concerns, the issues yet to be reconciled, and the policy that I think is op in opposition to the will of the people, I must respectfully oppose this bill. It is my sincere desire, however, that irrespective of the outcome of today's vote, 
that we leave the Capitol not as proponents or opponents of the bill, not as winners or losers, but as the people of Hawaii, people who may disagree, but fundamentally as the people of Hawaii. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative.